Bienvenido, Raza, a un nuevo video de No Offer. Súper emocionados porque estamos de regreso. Sí, después de casi dos meses. Estamos de regreso yeah. y con invitado especial, Long. Mándale un saludo a la gente. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> he's a little sleepy right now, guys. I'm not sure if you could tell, but he's, he's super sleepy. Yeah, it's a Why are you sleepy, night. Long? Long night of us. Playing uh, video games? Nah, she got back from the bar last night. Dang. No invite? You don't know those people, bro. Uh, well, I'm always up to meeting new people. Oh, yeah? Next time. Next, Next time. time. But we were saying that, you know, Long's going to be in a lot of videos for mm -hmm. us. Um, yes. We know one of the main reasons why, you know, he's hopping on, too, is, you know, he has been pointing out to me how, you know, our cultures are very similar, specifically, you know, the Mexican, Vietnamese culture. Can you tell, tell him a little bit about, you know, what similarities we might have? That, you know, I don't think I know too much about the Vietnamese culture, mm -hmm. but I know you know a lot about, like, the Mexican and Hispanic culture. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what similarities do we have? Uh, so, I grew up in Rosemary. So, it's... Pretty much when when I got came to America, it's pretty much fifty percent Hispanic, fifty yeah, percent, fifty percent Asian, and uh, Hispanic and Asians we like to do a lot of similar activities, party, drinking, you know, nah. fighting over land, shit. fighting over land. That was my that was mm -hmm. my main question. <laughs> like, are you really, you know, similar to Hispanics if you don't fight for land? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like I feel like that's the number one question I was gonna ask you. I'll never. Fighting over lands, like breaking cultures, you know? Yeah, I think it's breaking barriers. It's bringing people together, I heard. <laughs> I mean, tearing down families, but... <laughs> tearing down families, but bringing other people together. Good stories to be yeah. told. Yeah. Also, Vietnamese people have a lot of food in their wedding. Hell yeah. I Seven, think. nine course um, dinners. Yeah, it depends on the person. But usually it's like a minimum of nine courses, mm -hmm. 12 courses, you know? Damn. If Mexicans had nine course meals, what would they be? What do you mean? What would it, yeah, like what would be the first thing, second thing, like? Okay, sorry, like in, starting like from breakfast and stuff. No, 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 no just no, dinner. No. The, just the, dinner. Yeah, yeah okay, for, for sure, wedding. like tacos. No, would that be what? Okay, would that be the first one? Oh, the first one. Um, I was thinking we like might you know, start it off with a little consomme, how, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. Like a consomme. Okay. Like miso soup. <laughs> 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 but consomme, you know? Yeah. Consomme. Okay, I see that. So then would tacos be second? Tacos de frijoles second, you know? Okay, the frijoles. You, you still sense. can like. Yes, yes, You yes. know, give them the good stuff right away. Tacos de frijoles to, or the papa. Or the papa, you're or right. Or the papa. Right. Uh -huh. I was thinking like taqueando, you know, like just give them a... a I, I guess tortillas for the whole table, uh -huh. and everyone has to get it. And then, oh, like yeah. you're all choose your yeah. And you just throw the frijoles on there. Mm. You know, you okay. start off, you know, slow. You know, third. Maybe it's a good quesadilla. Okay, quesadilla. Mm. Con carne o sin carne? Sin carne. Sin carne. Sin carne. Uh -huh. What do you think about that? What do you think about our three courses so far? So far, so good. So far, build up from. Build it up, build it up. Okay, third, fourth. It's gotta be. Tacos with meat. Tacos with meat, number four, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, any specific meat, or is it um, just a any meat you want? I feel like the main ones would be like asada, al pastor, the lengua. Um, what else is there? So for Vietnamese wedding, is it individual plates, or is it a family style when you get it? I kind of forgot. Um, so it's kind of like family style, yeah? It's like per table. So per table, like right? usually they take out like the, they start off something small, like a little soup and that builds up until towards the end where like they bring out the, the big guns. It's like the stuff. lobster, the crab, like off the seafood stuff, yeah. mm -hmm. like the scallops. For sure, for sure. So um, tacos would be our number four. Four, Okay, yes. number five, hit them with something more. Shoot, maybe like a good Either torta or like Ooh. birria, mm -hmm. okay. or no wait, let's see the birria. Okay, let's like, see. So torta, torta, torta for the yeah. fifth one. Damn. Yeah, so just a table full of a lot of tortas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you like it, the tortas with like cilantro, cebolla, like all that type of stuff inside? Con todo, bro. Yeah. Con todo. So I think there's two. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's two type of tortas, and you guys can tell yeah. me if I'm wrong, right? But there's the tortas that I've seen uh -huh. that are basically the same um, stuff like from tacos, right? Where they're asada, yeah, yeah. pastor. 
And then there they throw the cilantro and stuff like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then there's other tortas like torta cubana and stuff right. like that. Where it's just where it could be the ham, the milanesa, or even steak or weenies yeah. and stuff. And that one goes more with tomato and lettuce. Yeah. So which tortas are we having at the at the wedding? I'm t- I was thinking the first one you said. The first one, right? Because mm-hmm. if it's gonna be a lot of courses and they should already get the the meat from yeah. like the tacos with the yeah. cilantro and stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. Con todo, huh? Hell yeah. Okay. Six course? Shoot. Mm, a good birria? Birria, okay. Mm-hmm. Birria? And with the cilantrito and everything? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, what How would it be displayed, though? I think it would display How? like a rib or something. Or I don't know, because if it's family style, you know? Oh. We can be ki- mm-hmm. Or unless you put the olla in right there in the middle, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> or should we put the olla in the middle? And then, mm-hmm. then you have the tias to all the manchadas. You know, uh. you know how they have uh, chocolate fountains? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, they have hot chocolate Oh, yeah. Oh, con some oh. fountain. Oh, I was thinking champurrado fountain, but oh, con some yeah, fountain that works, yeah. crazy. And you just put your little topercito in there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. So what are we on six, seven, so now? seven? seven. Yeah, yeah. What is a heavier hitter than birria? You know, mole. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's hard. Let me think. I think after I think this after this menu we need to go like. You probably ended like with what? Slime. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. We can then hit the desserts and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I feel like then we could bring out like tres leches cake. Or oh, arroz con leche. Oh. oh. What if I don't know? But let, let's say the party doesn't end till two a.m. You know. <laughs> so then you hit him with the tres leches cake as like the seventh. We hit him with that as the seventh. And then, you know, a long break, dancing, you know. <laughs> Tirando los pasos prohibidos right there in the pistas. And then, like al último, like for the, like 2 a.m., you hit him with tacos again. What about steak? Or ribs? Mm. Like what, like a sala or like a steak, like a rib? Cocina. Costillas, true. Yeah. And yeah. then, you know, just because, you know, you said we love to party at 10 a.m. They're, doing, 10 the car- they're doing the carnitas <laughs> outside, you know? And that's my perfect Vietnamese Mexican 10 course dinner. Sounds Not. expensive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sounds super expensive. Yeah. But I feel like it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it depends, right? Because, you know, if the wedding is huge, then yeah. Do you need to at least kill, like, at least a cow? <laughs> what, what if it's a small wedding, you know? What's the normal size uh, Hispanic wedding? Damn, I'd say at least, let me see, four times ten. Or forty times, what, like 400 people, maybe? So pretty much or the more. whole. Or more. Typical? The typical, That's typical. Odd. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> you're talking as if you're you're Indian, bro. <laughs> I would say like 150 the most. Yeah? You think so? Yeah. Because I mean, like in small towns in Mexico, sometimes the wedding is... People who don't even get invited oh. show up for a play, you but, know? But, that, but that's mm-hmm. different. That's yeah. Different. That's Mexico. That's what we said, Mexican wedding, bro. No, it's not Hispanic, bro. Like, but pretty much the whole town, people just come even the uninvited and shit. Yeah, like there's people who, you know, just show up and get a plate of food. Nah, that don't fly with Asians. Uh, no? Nah. Look at that. Unless they bring a red envelope? Or? Yeah, yeah. They're expected to bring red envelopes. So, I mean, for my friend's wedding, I think I gave him uh, like a thousand dollar in my red envelope. What are red envelopes? Uh, so, pretty much red envelopes is just what you give out. And then inside the red envelope, it's like money. Uh, usually it's like to wish them good luck and prosperity and stuff like that. And then the reasoning for giving it away is just like, uh, when you give away money, it's just to show that hopefully throughout the year you have so much money that you can continue to keep on giving out money. Does it sign like, if I give, like I'll receive? Yeah. The universe type yeah, of yeah. Mm-hmm. Something like that. And the more you give, the more you receive? Yeah. I mean... But based on wedding, it's just usually based on relationship, yeah? Like, the the more you know someone... Um, oh, so the more you know that person, the more money you mm-hmm. give out, right? 
So like a brother, you'd be breaking your whole bank account. Yeah, pretty much. A close friend, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. a lot of money, and then your third cousin fifth removed that you saw once when you were two <laughs> and he stole your toy. That's like twenty. Bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, for a wedding, usually it's like the minimum is like a hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're trying to, I guess, break even. Because yeah. like, for my friend, I think he spent about uh, 40 G's alone just renting the venue. And uh, I think at best they, they hope to break even. And then like, I mean, at best, like, at best, it's like to break even plus, you know, getting some. 40 G's for the venue, depending on how many people they invite, you mm-hmm. give them a thousand. That's yeah, yeah. But usually, like, um, I think he invited about like 200 plus people, so pretty sure he broke even. I feel like that's hard to break even. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially 40 G's for a venue. Was it nice? Very nice. The thing about, I hate about, like, venues, though, is that there's time limits for that. Uh, I don't think so, like, so... Because people have to close, they have to clean and close up once they're done. Yeah, well, you gotta go based off the schedule that they plan out for you, yeah, based on your package, you know. Yeah. For 40 J's, they better, you know, keep keep it open. 40 J's ends at 5 in the morning. <laughs> they better. Yeah, yeah, like, they block off, like, the whole section... Make it all private and everything like that. Everything covered. Sounds good, guys. Well, if you guys want to know more about, like, the similarities about, you know, Vietnamese, Mexican culture, yeah. just Asian-American and Mexican-American culture as well, yeah. let us know in the comments what questions, um, you know, you guys would want us to answer. Or if you have any questions about this guy right here, comment down below and, you know, we'll answer all the questions. Yeah. All right, guys, this has been it. Till next time.